I am an adult Paralephistrongulus tenuous, and my shelter is a deer's calvarium. Nestled in the meninges, I lay my eggs in the Venus sinuses, where they are carried by the currents of my Venus return. My eggs lodge in the narrowing capillaries in the deer's mighty lungs and embryonate into first stage larvae, which fall like Fahrenheit into the alveolar igloo. My host responds with an aggressive cough, which sends my young spilling up trachea, down esophagus, and through the funnel of four stomachs, finally falling in a pile of droppings in a fern field by the fjord. Slow Mr. Gastropod glides along his muscular foot motored by, mu by mucus to munch on the manure. My stealthy young sneak through that foot and set up shop in the mollusk where they grow from L1 to L2 to L3. By now these teenage P. tenuous have bought their around the world tickets and their Eurorail passes and they're ready for some adventure travel during their lag year before college. And they get their chance when an unsuspecting goat mows on mollusk. The boisterous third stage larvae exit through goat abomasum swinging and clambering up nerve roots to the spinal cord highway. There, my kids, these teenage P. tenuous, find a different road than I had seen in my trip through the deer. In the deer, the roads were well marked, and I sailed through subarachnoid space all the way to the brain. But my kids, in that goat, discover that all the road signs are in German, and all the roundabouts are going the wrong way. They do their best, slithering craniad and sleeping on whatever stoop in the spinal cord they can find. But their trip is difficult, and they are too taxed to adopt idealistic leave-no-trace philosophies. These disillusioned larvae trash the white matter as the news comes from above that they are condemned to a Peter Pan larval life. My children, in that goat, will never be adults. <laughs>